Oh, here we go. How many cameras do you have? I believe 16 or 17. Wolf tracking is very difficult. It requires a lot of time, a lot of effort, many hours hiking through snow, through rain, um, staring at maps. Andrew Rhodes, a homeschooled eighth grader, is doing advanced citizen science on the Metolius River Wolf Pack. Look at a 3D topographical map and try to figure out where the wolves might travel, uh, where are pinch points, where are points where uh, they're kind of like forced by the terrain into one area. And then we'll hike like five to 10 miles out to that spot and put up a camera. Um, and oftentimes I will get lucky and I will get wolves on that camera. Through his network of trail cameras, some of which are loners, others that he bought with money earned from doing yard work, Anders is tracking the Metolius River wolf pack and reporting his findings to the Oregon Department of Fish and Wildlife. As far as we know, there are probably four wolves in the Metolius pack right now. Um, and they roam a lot. One day I'll see them, their tracks in one spot, and then two days later, 16 miles away, I'll see their tracks in another spot. He is so committed to getting out and tracking, he will get all his schoolwork done early. And then we can go out and we, and I luckily enjoy being out in the outdoors. And so he'll say where we need to go to check a camera. And I'm happy to follow along and look at the birds on the way. Anders' mother, Sevilla Rhodes, says she knows nothing about wolves or tracking. Thank goodness for his mentors. So uh, people like Emily Widener, who have just been incredible going above and beyond. She already works so hard and so many hours and is so busy. And Ander will call with a question and she will stop yeah, and like talk here, to him and tell him how to do things. Due to his willingness to reach out and ask questions, Ander has a network of mentors at the local, state and federal levels who have taught him the standard of excellence in field research how to report useful, accurate data that helps manage the wolf population. Our main goal is to educate the public about the value of wolves. And the fact that he's now doing this and he has so much experience, and it's so inspiring to see a young person doing this, getting this information and being this excited about wildlife and sharing it with other kids, especially, it gives me hope for the future. Anders an incoming freshman at Sisters High School this fall. He's already working with another student there to produce a movie about how local ranchers and livestock producers are adjusting to the presence of wolves. I don't want the poaching of the breeding male of the Metolius pack to become something that divides the community and that makes people angry or sad towards other people. And you actually help him by taking him to meetings so he can go to meetings on public issues, public lands, environmental restoration projects? I do, I'm working on a lot of those issues and I like to have him go with me so he can sit in on meetings with people like Marette Paiuti and, and Rod Boniker that have served you know 30 or more years in the Forest Service, now retired, but they're continually giving back to the community and working on really good restoration projects. And I want Andrew to, you know, I think it's important for young people to see that you never outgrow that, uh, that need to, to, to give back and to help. One of many highlights in Andrew Rhodes' young life was being invited to Yellowstone National Park to watch wolves with Rick McIntyre, a biologist and author who studies the long-term impacts wolves have on the ecology. The Metolius pack pups right now are pretty much one year old and they still have that pup energy. They are still curious and they're still really bouncy and um, they still act like pups, but they don't look like pups anymore. Yeah. Have you seen them yourself? No. And you've been out how much? I have been out for hundreds of hours probably tracking and being right on the trail of these wolves and I have not actually seen one in person. I've been close. I've heard them walk like running through the bushes away but I have never seen them and I am it's I'm very jealous of the people who have
<laughs> one day, though. One day. Brooks Snavely, Central Oregon Daily News.